Welcome to day four of Four Fields of Stewardship. Now, I love how purposeful God is. In Acts chapter 17, verse 26, it says, And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation. So before time began, God knew exactly what and who he wanted to entrust you with. He chose the time in history you would be born, the family you would be born into, where you would live. Yes, God wanted you here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and he entrusted you with the purposes he designed for you. Paul wrote in Ephesians 2 verse 10, for we are his creation, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we may walk in them. Today and tomorrow, I, I wanna focus on this field, the field of purpose. And in this field, I'm including your jobs, the ministry and volunteer activities that you may be involved in, even your hobbies, pretty much all the things that you do. God desires that you walk in all he has entrusted you with in the present and the future. So between today and tomorrow, I wanna to talk to you about our attitude toward purpose and then discuss three potential weeds that can take over our field of purpose if we're not too careful. Paul wrote in Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, he says, Whatever you do, work at it with your whole being, for the Lord and not for men, because you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. In the field of purpose, it's, it's easy to lose sight who we're working for. We think it's the company we're working for, maybe the, the organization we volunteer with, maybe it's the ministry team that we're a part of, but in the field of purpose, we have to understand that it's always God that we're working for and not man. In fact, work and the things that you do are part of your worship to God. Our attitude should be done of, should be of one of worship. Now let's talk about are the three weeds that can take over your field of purpose if you're not too careful. The first weed is poor character. When I say the word character, it may seem kind of unspiritual, but, but in actuality, it's very spiritual because our growth as believers is evidenced by the character that we have. Character that is growing is character that is Christ-like. You know, it's often the areas of our character that are not yet yielded to Christ that keep us from being able to steward our purpose as well. You know, God isn't looking for you to for, for, for you to be more talented. He's not comparing you to the other person. What he's looking for is your heart. So if you wanna be entrusted with more, demonstrate that you have the character to be trusted with more. So in your time with God today, I, I, I just encourage you to, to ask him to help you to view your work and the things you do as an act of worship and to search your heart. If there are any areas in your character that might not be yielded to him yet, and, and look, we all have them, choose to surrender those to him today and ask him to help you to embody the character of Christ. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue our talk on the field of purpose.